I think we're post the likability factor, although I think President Trump's a very likable guy. Um, and I think the people around him and I think many people that see him think he's very likable. I don't think that that is a, you know, do you want to have a beer with the guy? What was so important in kind of the Clinton and Bush 43 and Obama era, I think we're in a different era today. People realize that the world's in a lot of turmoil, that we have everywhere from nuclear threat in, in North Korea to a, a massive military threat in the South China Sea to uh, all types of uh, uncertainty in the Persian Gulf, uh, that uh, we live in a very troubled era and it's going to take strong leadership. I think when they look at Trump, I think a lot of people might think, hey, maybe I don't like the guy, but you know what? The guy's a leader and the guy does what he says he's going to do. And I think that at the end of the day, to me, that's the most important thing. If the election was held today, uh, I believe that you would lose between 35 and 40 seats. I, and I think two thirds of those seats are right on the cusp. If you nationalize this election and turn out the base like it can be turned out very easily, I think that uh, at the end of the day, this would be less than 15 seats and President Trump would hold the House. And I think it's that important to hold the House. It's got to, that's where it has to be a maniacal focus. Uh, there's nothing to stop President Trump from having a, a big victory on November 6th. Well, I think, I think here's what we have to do is, number one, is President Trump has delivered. Remember, my whole job at the White House, just really, I just kept a bunch of whiteboards filled with his campaign promises and kind of kept everybody focused on what we had to accomplish. President Trump's accomplished so much, I think it's incumbent upon, really, the grassroots movement to kind of come around to this and say, hey, this whole election, this is a nationalized election about President Trump. This is a referendum. You're not just voting for a local congressman, okay? You're just not voting for a senator right in a third of the states that that's going on or for the third of the Senate. This is a national referendum on Donald Trump's program. And if you want to keep that program and keep it going forward, you have to win on November 6th.